for Pablo Lopez his seventh start of the season as we told you before his second against Atlanta gave up a couple of home runs in that game. Here's Dansby Swanson swing and a miss Pablo put him away strikeout number one on the afternoon for Pablo Lopez Freeman has gone three for nine with a home run in the series two down nobody on for Freeman who grounds a ball right into the ship and it is picked up there by Rojas thrown to first for the out one two three go the Braves here we go to the bottom of a scoreless first inning Julio Tehran is on the mound seems like every year his home road splits are reversed so far on the road it's been a struggle for him with a very high whip as well for Julio it's always about walks and home runs and it's driven toward right and right at Marquecas and a good start indeed for Julio Tehran. Both starters have perfect firsts. On we go to the second. Tyler Flowers. The catcher's hitting 316. Here's the one and two pitch. And it is swung on and missed. Pablo Lopez with the strikeout. And it's a steal for Rojas and he's now in scoring position. That gets Chad Wallach to the plate. And a ground ball hit toward short. Ball was put in play but right to Dansby and Tehran works around the hit batsman. To send us to the third inning. 2-2 to Tehran, a swing and a miss, and Pablo Lopez brings up his third strikeout. He's gotten the second batter in each of the first three innings. There's a swing and a miss by Ozzy Albies. Back-to-back K's to escape the third inning for Pablo. He's fanned four in the first three. And Isaac Galloway, his first at bat of the afternoon. Fastball, strike three call. Tehran hits 90 and puts it right on the black for a strikeout. That's his first of the game. Line drive to right field coming on Marquecas. He's there. He's got it. Frozen rope to right field. But Nick Marquecas equal to the task. It's a 1-2-3 third for Julio Tehran. Dansby Swanson, Freddie Freeman, and Nick Marquecas will try and change that scoreless nature of this game. Dansby a line drive. There's the game's first hit. A two-strike knock the other way. Boy, he's done that very consistently all year and here we go second time through the order for Pablo Lopez and it starts with a single beautiful action for Atlanta they have runners at first and third and he chops on the third base good hop for Prado goes down to second they get one back to first they get two that was the double play ball he was looking for and now with Anderson at second Walker at first here comes Starlin Castro who is overdue the three one and Castro a little dribble out in front of the plate flowers on it only play is the first a little bit high but it's pulled down by Freeman Castro is out two to three runners move up Miguel Rojas in need of a big two out knock he swung right through it a swing and a miss and Rojas didn't get it to end a Marlins fourth inning threat and our Enciarte has bounced out to Prado and he's up for the second time goes upstairs chases out of the zone that's five strikeouts now for Pablo Pablo kicks and delivers and it's swung on a miss strike three he got him that strands the runner Joyce at second base and the inning is over for the Braves. So here's Isaac Galloway and he took one at the knees strike three third strikeout for Julio he's gotten Galloway twice. But Freddie Freeman comes to the plate. Here's a ground ball to the right side scooped up by Prado on the ship. One down here in the sixth inning for Prado pitch on the way got him swinging throw that thing around the horn good fastball from Tehran. That's the fourth strike out of the ball game by Tehran. Two down here in the sixth inning. Just the second time this year that Lopez has completed at least six innings in his start. A walk, six strikeouts through 88 pitches, 56 strikes. And now we'll see what Drew Steckenrider can do facing Marcakis, Flowers, and Camargo in the seventh in a scoreless game. Swing and a high fly ball. Wallop deep right field. Anderson as far as he can go. He can't get it. Marquecas with a home run breaks the scoreless tie. First homer for Marquecas since he took Jacob DeGrom out of the park on April 14th. This will be Josh Tomlin who takes over on the mound for the Braves. And now the tying man is at second. The go-ahead man is at first with one out in the eighth. Brian Anderson to the plate. Anderson a base hit into left field. Birdies round in third. He's going to score and B.A. has come through to tie the game in the eighth inning. Three consecutive hits for the Marlins, and they have tied it up. So Freed down at first base represents the go-ahead run here at the top of the 10th inning. Here's Ender Inciarte, who's one for three with a single. Ender's showing bunt. Takes it back and slashes one. Fair down the left field line. Max around second on his way to third. He's getting green lighted. Wash waves him. He says hustle kick. Throw to the plate. And Wallet can't handle it. And 
Free dives in, touches the plate with his left arm. Are you kidding me? Oh, that was scary. That was scary. But what a job by Ender. Pull the bat back and slash it fair. Well, here's Culberson. Now the Braves could add on to the lead. Runner at third base and no one out. Hits one well in the air to right field. Coming over towards the line is Anderson. He's under it, and did he catch it? He did. Tagging from third, coming in and scoring is Ender Inciarte. Slaps the plate as he goes in feet first, and the sack fly by Charlie Culberson makes it 3-1 Braves. Braves three, Marlins one, two outs, bottom of the 10th inning, runner at third base. Prado is two for four with a couple of singles. In the air to right field, Ender Inciarte back towards the gap. He'll be caught off by Nick Markakis, and Nick squeezes it to secure the win and break out the brooms as the Braves have swept the Marlins. They get the finale 3-1 in 10 innings.